Suppose you are interested in subscribing to a mail order snack company. Nature Goodies charges $4 for each snack. Pure Snacks charges a membership fee of $10 per month and all snacks cost $2. Find a slope intercept equation for Nature Goodies using x to represent the number of snacks. So to figure out the slope intercept equation, let's do a couple scenarios. So let's say that you buy zero snacks. So with Nature Goodies, there is no fee, so if you don't buy anything, you're not going to be charged anything. Let's say you buy one snack. So Nature Goodies charges $4 for each snack, so that's going to cost you 4 If you buy two snacks, then that's going to be 2 times 4, and so on and so forth. So what we want to find is the slope-intercept equation, which is y equals mx plus b where m is the slope, so that's how much everything is changing by, and b is going to be the y-intercept, in other words, when x is 0. So when x is 0, in other words, when there's no snacks, you're not charged anything. So this means that 0 is our y-intercept. And as you buy a snack, it's going to cost you $4 more. So our slope is going to be 4, and our b is 0. Okay, let's do the same thing for the second company. So this one is going to charge $10 per month, and then all the snacks are 2. So if I buy zero snacks, I'm still going to be charged the $10 membership fee. If I buy one snack, I'm still going to be charged the $10 fee, but then I'm only going to pay $2 for that one snack. If I buy two snacks, I'm still going to pay the 10 and then I'm going to pay 2 times the 2. So the slope-intercept equation, y equals mx plus b. So the y-intercept is when x is 0, in other words, when you buy no snacks. So that means that $10 is your y-intercept. And every time you go up a snack, you got to pay $2, so that's going to be your slope. So y equals 2x plus 10. So now what we're going to do is graph both of these lines. So I have a slope of 4 for the first line, and I have a y-intercept of 10 for the second line. So I think on the y-axis, I'm probably going to go by 2s, because I don't want to start too high up where 10 would be. So I'm going to go by 2s. Okay, so that's going to be how much everything costs, so that's money. Along the x-axis, this is going to be the number of snacks. So I'm just going to go by ones. The main reason I'm doing that is because if you look back at our equations, all of these slopes are over 1. So 4 over 1, 2 over 1. So that's why I'm going over 1. Okay, so for the first line, we have a y-intercept of 0. And the slope is 4. So starting at 0... I'm going to go up 4 over 1, so 1 snack costs you 4, 2 snacks cost you 8, 3 costs 12, 4 costs 16, 5 is 20, 6 is 24, okay, so there's our line. Okay, I'm not going to go past the 0 though because you can't have a negative number of snacks. Okay, so this is for nature goodies. So I'm going to use a different color for the second line, which is going to have a y-intercept of 10. And then it has a slope of 2, so every snack is going to cost you $2 more. So you can see from this picture that we do have an intersection spot, which means that at five snacks, it's going to cost you $20. So how many snacks would you need for each company to cost the same? Well, it's going to be five snacks, because that's going to cost you 20 
Okay, so five snacks cost you 20. After that, uh, which company would be the better buy for you? So let's look at the lines. So after five, I would assume you want to pay less money. So after five, I want to pay less. So the blue line is actually going to cost you less money the more snacks you buy. So that means pure snacks, even though it charges a membership fee, is still going to cost less after you buy five snacks. So after five snacks, pure snacks cost less.